What's the difference between gRPC and tRPC? They have nothing to do with each other. Literally nothing to do with each other at all. Anyways, <laughs> gRPC is a protobuf solution for between server communications. It is a way for one server to tell another server to do something. tRPC, TypeScript RPC, which RPC stands for Remote Procedure Call, tRPC is a way for the server and the client to interop and share data and type definitions. gRPC was written for very fast inter-server comms so that one server could communicate with another server very fast. tRPC was written to make the relationship between the client and the server as simple as possible, similar to GraphQL. tRPC versus GraphQL. So let's take a look at a few different languages and where they fit. I'm gonna grab this guy. Separating all these a bit more. So this first column is databases. Second column, micro services. And I'll move this over slightly too. And here we might have TypeScript web client. Maybe we have a mobile app. And here we have maybe something like analytics service. So here's like a pretty common set of layers. On the left is where our data is stored. Let's say this is an SQL DB. Maybe you have a Redis in there. So what we're talking about is how these things communicate. I'm going to delete the TRPC versus GraphQL. It's not that simple. It's a question of what fits in each of these different sections. Like what is the ideal communication between each of these four? So if I start here, what fits between the databases and the microservices? This one's easy. SQL, maybe JSON for Redis. But the way you're probably ideally communicating between your SQL database, your Redis, and your microservices is through something like SQL. Communicating between your microservices and your gateway, as well as between the services themselves. Actually, I just came up with a better way to diagram this maybe yeah we'll say that the space between here is described by these I'll make this green to make that clear now we'll do this section we'll say that this is uh, I picked the wrong thing there stroke pink and then for inter-service or server comms grpc or HTTP JSON. Honestly, this extends all the way here. So for inter-service communications, as well as to the gateway, gRPC and HTTP are the best solutions here. Do not use tRPC here. You're making a mistake. From, honestly, there's not really inter-communication there, and there certainly isn't here. So in this space, the final section, we have the most options. I'll leave HTTP JSON on top because it's the default. GraphQL and tRPC. So purple's bigger because you can use it for intercom here as well, which was intentional. But when you're communicating between clients and gateways, HTTP, GraphQL, and tRPC are the solutions built for that. When you're communicating between services and between services and gateways, gRPC is built specifically for that, but HTTP is a good option as well. And when you're communicating between the services and the databases, you can use SQL or whatever the hell you use for Redis. I'll admit I'm a Redis noob, so there might be better things for that. But generally speaking, this space is served by SQL and other database standards. The attempt to take a GraphQL from here and drag it all the way back there has always confused me. The desire to take gRPC and move it all the way over here has always confused me. I feel like people don't acknowledge what the benefits of the specific solutions they're looking at are for. 
And gRPC for web is a joke and no one actually enjoys their experience using it. Theoretically, you can take gRPC and put it here the same way you can theoretically take GraphQL and shove it all the way back there. You should not do any of those things because these technologies are built for specific stuff. <laughs> Use the technologies for what they're built for and you will have a much better experience. Now, once and for all, please stop asking me about tRPC versus gRPC. It's like you're asking me about car versus boat. Boats are great for water and cars are great for driving. Stop asking me stupid questions. We're here for dumb questions, not stupid ones. Hey, did you know that over half my viewers haven't subscribed yet? That's insane. Y'all just click these videos and listen to me shout and hope that the algorithm is going to show you the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe even the bell next to it so that you know when I'm posting videos. Also, if you didn't know this, almost all of my content is live streamed on Twitch while I'm making it. Everything on the YouTube is cuts, clips, whatever from my Twitch show. So if you're not already watching, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash Theo, where I'm live every Wednesday around 2 or 3 p.m. And I go live on Fridays pretty often as well. Thank you again for watching this video. Really excited. Thank you.